Today we're going to make a symmetrical butterfly, one similar to this. Uh, the first thing we'll need to do is to take a piece of paper and to fold it in half. We're going to bring the two short edges together and it's going to be uh, like a book. We'll form a book. And then we'll open the piece of paper up and on the very, very center, this will become the line of symmetry for this butterfly. Um, we're going to go ahead and draw in and trace very carefully. Find your center fold and very carefully, exactly on the fold, I'm going to make one little line down the middle. I'm going to do it in kind of a darker value. I'm not going to do black at this time. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold the, the paper over and I'm going to rub just where the paint was. And then I'm going to open it up and what's going to happen is whatever it goes beyond the line of symmetry is going to be repeated on both sides. And you can see how the paint has squished out and formed this really cool freeform shape. That's going to be the center of my butterfly. I'm next going to go ahead and add some color for the wing. So I'm going to take my center and go up, and this will become a wing. Now we need to remember we're only painting on one side. Because when I fold this, this becomes what's called a mono print. I'm actually printing to the other side. I'm going to rub this really good, and you can see where my paint is right here. And it's starting to form a, a, a wing, the upper wing. Then I'm going to go ahead and touch the body and make a line down. I'm going to add more paint now to make it real thick. If I put a lot of paint on, then my when I rub, the wing will expand and make it thicker, just like this one. And it will also print on my other side, creating a monoprint. And a monoprint is a printing only done once. <clears throat> There's only enough paint on here to print one time. If I took another piece of paper and rubbed it, my print is going to be very light. So it did not print two times. That's why it's called a mono print. It prints one time. So now I have my upper and lower wings. It's kind of looking like, looking like a moth. It's giving me that feel. I can then add more color if I want, more pattern. If I want to put a dot there. Maybe I want to bring up another color in here, maybe a stripe. Maybe I want to put a dot of yellow, brown, yellow and brown on the bottom. If I want a little yellow over here. And then when I fold my paper and rub, it's going to print to the other side. There we go, printing. And this paper you can actually see right through, and see when it prints and moves and how it moves the paint. And so this is the process of decorating your butterfly. You can change out colors, putting in cool patterns. So if I make a line here, it's going to end up being a monoprint to the other side, exact opposite. And the, the design will be in symmetry. It will be symmetrical, which is same on both sides. That's why we use this line of symmetry here. So go ahead and you'll continue working up your design, putting in different colors and patterns and then ending with black. And you'll end up with something like that.